I'm especially um, happy and proud to be doing this particular event because um, I had a really, really long association with Mr. Leinsdorf. And he was, he was in fact, uh, the first sort of great conductor that, that I had the privilege of playing with um, back in 1977, an outdoor concert with the National Symphony in Washington. Um, and the weather was okay, it was a little hot. Uh, it was July, and uh, I played the Emperor Concerto of Beethoven, um, and uh, he didn't get mad. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he used to ask questions of, of all his younger, well, I won't say colleagues, but, but maybe sort of professional students, and he asked once, what is the only orchestral piece of Beethoven in B major? And you search, you search, you search, you search, and of course he tells you it's all right, it's the second movement of the Emperor Concerto. What is the only piece of Brahms orchestral music in B major? It's the second movement of the second symphony. And now tell me the opus number of the Emperor Concerto, opus 73, and the opus number of the second symphony, opus 73. <laughs> and I don't know if that means anything at all, but he was able to make these connections. It was an incredible mind. He was. Well, obviously when you're, when you're 26 or 27 and, and you meet someone who is a great musician that influences you tremendously and uh, a lot of the things I do every day uh, have to do with the things he talked about. Um, little things like I never write in my music <laughs> because he studied scores very, very carefully, and he always said, if you need to write something in your music, it means you don't really know the score, <laughs> because you should know it well enough that you don't need any kind of aids. And I, I somehow, I got that into my brain to the point where I guess I used to be afraid to write things, because <laughs> he, might, he might see them. But, 